Mistastic Communications is pretty cool, but the stocked little radio is very limited. In this video, I'm going to show you another way using an amplifier to improve the communications range of your Mistastic radio. This is Dave in the shop. Stay tuned. Okay, so you've got a Mishtastic radio, and maybe you've been able to communicate with a few nodes, or maybe you haven't been able to hit any other nodes with the radio. In one of my other videos, I showed you how you can improve the antenna by taking the little one off and replacing it with a, a better antenna you can make yourself. Today, we're going to talk about utilizing a little amplifier to improve the output power and the receiving capability of your Mestastic radio. So I use this little small bi-directional amplifier. I'll put a link in the show notes uh, if you want to get one. Uh, this amplifier, what it's going to do is it's going to improve the output power or increase the output power of the radio. And it also has a, no, a low noise LNA, low noise amplifier that improves the receive capability. So it's bi-directional. It helps you both in receive and in transmit. Uh, that will help you get more distance. This particular amplifier, what they call a 10 dB amplifier, and a 10 dB uh, amplification essentially works out to about times 10 um, of, of the power. So you can take one of these small radios. Uh, I've measured a number of different radios and they're anywhere between 60 milliwatts and uh, on the top end 100 milliwatts. And then using a 10 times 10 dB amplifier, you can take that 60 milliwatts and turn it into 600 or in this case, this radio does a pretty good job. It's about um, right at 95 milliwatts and so this takes that power up to almost a full watt and that's unless you're a, license, a licensed operator that's the maximum power that you can put into the antenna so this little amplifier will help you get to the maximum level that you're legally allowed uh, to use so you combine this and the antenna with your stock radio now you're receiving better, you're transmitting better, and of course in the um, antenna video we talk about height, get it as high up uh, as you can. I use a combination like this, a small meshtastic radio going into my amplifier, the amplifier feeding into the antenna up in the very top of my attic roof, and that has greatly improved the performance, the distance, the number of nodes that I can communicate with. Uh, it really, really, really makes a big difference. One of the things that I would like to ask you to do is to please like and subscribe. That helps the YouTube algorithm get this content out in front of other like-minded people like us. Now let's talk about uh, the little device uh, I have uh, I have several of these. Uh, I've print I've 3D printed some cases to help protect it. But here's the here's just the device by itself. And and if you look at it, what you've got is an input side and an output side. So on the input side, that's where you're going to have your cable that goes to your Mashtastic radio. So you'd remove that antenna, screw the SMA connector onto the radio, and then that's going to go to the input side of the antenna, uh, of the amplifier, excuse me. The amplifier also requires power, and conveniently this amplifier is designed to work up to 6 volts. I run mine on 5 volts because that just makes it super easy. So I've taken the wire that came with it, and I've taken a USB cable. I cut that red wire to red wire, black wire to black wire. So I'm giving five volts uh, to, my ampli uh, to my amplifier. Um, when you go to do that, just double check it. Check it with a multimeter and make sure that um, red is the positive um, so that you don't damage the amplifier. And of course, the amplifier will screw in to the SMA connector on the antenna. 
and you want to insulate it from from the uh, from the antenna. But one one thing that works really well is to I put mine in a little plastic box, and then you can just wire tie it on here. is is one of the approaches that keeps the, sh the feed line short going to the antenna, so you're really getting all of the output power into the antenna. And again, short feed line going to the radio so that you're getting all of the output power from the radio into the amplifier to really optimize it. Long pieces of feed line uh, eat up a lot of power. A lot of, that, a lot of the power gets dissipated just as heat. Uh, and so you're wasting power. And the same thing applies on the receive side. So you limit the ability to receive if you have long feed lines. Um, in this particular case, because this has an LNA in it, I like to have the amplifier as close to the antenna as possible. That way it optimizes my receive. And if I had to have a longer piece of feed line, uh, then I would do that uh, between the radio and the amplifier and not between the amplifier and the antenna. Uh, again, short is the best. Um, but if you have to go a little bit longer, go on, on this side. And some of my installations, I may have a three foot or a 10 foot uh, piece in here. Uh, so that's the amplifier. Uh, let's take a look at um, it on the meter. So we've got, um, we'll, we'll pull up our small spectrum analyzer and we'll take a look at uh, uh, input power, output power, kind of see how this little amplifier is working. Here's the setup I'm going to use. Uh, down at the bottom, you can see the tiny uh, spectrum analyzer, and then you can see the amplifier and the mesh-tastic radio set up. In between the amplifier and the tiny SA is a 30 dB attenuator. This is critical so that you don't burn up the input side of the spectrum analyzer. So the first measurement that we'll do is measure the output power of the meshtastic radio without the amplifier in line. And we get 19 dBm, which translates to about 80 milliwatts. Next, we test with the amplifier in line, and that gives us about 29.5 uh, dBm, which will translate to roughly 900 milliwatts. So as you can see, we got about just slightly over a tenfold, 10x, 10 dB uh, improvement in power. What is this tenfold increase in power going to do for us? Well, using the inverse square law, it really works out to about three times the range or three times the distance for the communication. Now if you combine that with improvements uh, from the antenna, uh, you're talking about making your little radio transmit maybe five to ten times the distance as what it would do as a stock radio. So where my little radio uh, in, in the Atlanta area where we got lots of trees, lots of tall buildings, you know, I was getting a half mile or so, maybe a little further with the stock radio. This really changed the game. With me getting about three mile radius uh, around my house. That meant that I went from uh, uh, barely occasionally reaching another node to hitting several nodes reliably on the mesh. One of the other things that I, I can do in a future video is another type of antenna. This is a Yagi antenna. So it's highly directional, has a lot of gain. And so if you're in a situation where you need to point at a particular node that's uh, you know significant ways away, trying to report uh, point to a repeater or what have you, or, or you have two nodes out in the wilderness and they need to point at each other to get more range, then this kind of an antenna uh, in combination with the amplifier uh, might be a good choice. So look forward to that in a future video. I'll walk through how you can make one of these antennas for yourself. All right, there you have it. This is Dave in the shop. Uh, I've enjoyed making this video and, and working with these little projects. I hope you've enjoyed it as well. Mm -hmm.